There we go. Let's take a look at the record real quick. Any discrepancies you see there? <laughs> yes, yeah. And how about the record discrepancy, huh? Here we go. We have five three-minute rounds, two minutes in between. Classic Muay Thai rules. The symphony of strikes. The art of eight limbs. Oh. Great aggressiveness by the right corner. Jeremy Jeremy's coming, coming in out high. in full force really quickly. Right yes, in the middle of the fight. And John, you can see how big he is, can't you? He is so much bigger than his Thai opponent right now. He is using that size advantage to his benefit. There's no doubt about that. He's going to want to get an early win, if he can, even another KO, because yep. as he gets worn out, the guy with the experience is going to start to have the advantage. Absolutely. He needs to take it to him. He needs to take it to him quick. Here we go. Thai clinch. Not much happening. Referee separates him. And aggressiveness again from Jeremy. In and out real quick. He doesn't want to get tagged by the Thai fighter. Choke has a lot of power in that body. Don't, don't get it twisted. And it's well known that Thai fighters like to use the first round to feel out their opponent, see what they're up against. I, I don't think that's happening, is it, right now, John? Look at the, look at Jeremy. Aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. Right, well, he's not giving Choke much of a choice in the matter, is he? He's got to come right back at him. Yep. Uh, there we see a defensive kick. That's a beautiful inside leg kick. Oh, wow. Beautiful by Choke to grab that rope. Great ring awareness there to not get the takedown. Takedowns are huge yeah. in Muay Thai rules. Could have lost his balance there. He knows what he's doing in the ring. Absolutely. Here we go. The referee sees not enough action. You saw Choke wrap his left leg around the right leg of his opponent. And he gave that great job there by Choke on the inside. Here we go. Wow, they're making it a dirty dog fight right oh, away, yeah. sir. He's inside both fighters. Now, Jeremy's using the legs a lot. He knows he's got the height advantage, yeah. can keep the other fighter away using his legs, and lots of power behind that. But Choke's still getting in there. Great outside leg kick, digging into it. Choke, though, good defense. Got both hands up there. Yep. It's just, it's, it's really apparent how aggressive Jeremy is right now. I think you kind of nailed it on the head. I don't think he wants this to go three or four, even five rounds at all, John. No, I, and I can't blame him either. Would you want to go five rounds against someone with 178 fights under wow, his belt? that was a great oh, one. Wow, doing a two kick. Oh, now he's doing. Oh, I think you got. I think you got Choke a little bit upset. Yeah. Choke is a professional. He's coming out of the Eminent Air Gym. A lot of killers at that gym, and we know steel sharpens steel, John. Yeah, that kick there, that hit show on the chin a little bit. Mm. Choke has been woken up. Yes, he, he is. Has. He is not going to hold back now. Jeremy does look like a superhero, though. He is jacked to the gills. Inside leg kick, having some success there for Choke. A oh, beautiful one-two, digs to the body as well. Slap knees inside, bullying his opponent against the ropes. Referee not letting him. Some war. excellent combination work by Jeremy yeah, right there. It really? Round one in the books. Once again, five three-minute rounds. We got two minutes break in between. Phoenix fight. Live from Patan in beautiful paradise at Phuket, Thailand. Teddy Mobin on John Sam. Oh, yeah. Giving you the now, Phuket. A lot of people, if you've seen this, the name of this city written down before, it's spelled P-H-U-K-E-T. Yes. Many people think it's pronounced in a different way, but no, it is yeah. Phuket, ladies That's and right. gentlemen. It's not, it's not the F sound, it's the P-H nope. sound, absolutely. You're and this right. is, in fact, one of the greatest cities in the world to, to fight. So many people train here. There are Go so man. many gyms, oh including Pop some down. really big ones. It's a great place for fighters to train, and you're in the middle of paradise. The beaches are beautiful. Now, speaking of beaches, do you know that New Caledonia, where uh, Jeremy, PSM fighter, is from? That's actually an island in the Pacific. Uh, it was under French colonial rule, and uh, yeah, New Caledonia. Now, do you know where Old Caledonia is? I don't know. Caledonia was the name for Scotland during the Roman Empire. Oh. Look at that. Look at John on the mic right there with that. So the relationship between Scotland and New Caledonia, I have no idea. Yeah, there must be some sort of relationship there. But yet, Jeremy will be the, the first person I've ever met from New Caledonia, in fact. Oh. Met oh. a lot of old Caledonians. Can't always understand what they're saying, but they're a very friendly bunch. They are a very friendly bunch of Scottish people. Oh, I do yeah. want to say thanks to all of you people watching, all the people on Facebook, on the Fight app. Thanks for joining us. I mean, it's going to be a worldwide fight. I mean, this is going to be nonstop. Here we go. Both fighters off the chair. Got that bell.
Couldn't be any longer, that bell. Here we go, round two. Again, let's see if we're gonna see a lot more aggressiveness from Jeremy, or is he gonna take a, he's gonna take oh, a step wow. back? Look at that. Choke is no longer in his feeling the other guy out phase, that's for sure. No, he, he can't came just right sit in there, there and, get, and get those yeah. combos ripped on him either, no way. Good Some job, Ezra. Great Edra. footwork by Jeremy, got right out of the way of that kick. Yeah, as a taller fighter, as a longer fighter, he's going to be able to have the distance work. That right hand is finding a home, though, for Jeremy. This, I think, is where Choke is going to win this fight, but the, the referee's not letting him really work from that clinch. If normally the guys get locked up like that. The guy with more experience knows Ooh. exactly how to work it. Absolutely. Hours and hours in the gym. He's right at home there. But, I mean, he's got a, the mountain in front of him, though. This guy is jacked. Again, aggressiveness, prodding forward. Choke on the back foot, trying to figure out this puzzle. That right hand got right through that guard, didn't it? And again, not much. You see that left leg being draped over the right leg of Jeremy. It looks like Choke doesn't want to clinch, not at this stage of the game. I think he's he might just oh. have to wear Jeremy out. Yeah, I think he can too. Oh, beautiful combinations there. Follows it with a knee. Bullies them over the ropes, ref in to break it up. Heavy leg kick caught. Retaliation. That right hand again by Jeremy. Again! And there we go, gets locked up. Here the ref comes to break them up again. Mm. Choke is not going to be able to use that to his advantage. Yeah, I, I would like him to be able to have a few more moments to set something up in the clinch. Oh, 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 this referee's all over him right now. Touch of the gloves. Choke now, again, getting backed up. Jeremy's using the ring very well, cutting the ring off. Choke going oh, for the trip. Uh, Can't almost. Almost. Great balance Whoa, by Jeremy. Oh, big, big flying knee by Jeremy. PSM fighter. Aggression on a thousand, sir. This guy is just explosion after yeah. explosion. Can he keep it up though? I think John, you made a great point. I if, think if there's he, no way you could keep that up for five rounds. No way. If it becomes a marathon, Choke is gonna have the advantage. That's a lot of muscle, a lot of energy used to, to work with that. But again, Choke right on, right on his back foot. Oh, beautiful left hand. He's going for the kill, John. But Choke. Ever, Great ever. defensive posture by Choke. He knows exactly what Jeremy's trying to do, and, and he's not having it. Not scared. Now Jeremy's starting to miss with that right hand. I wonder if fatigue is playing a factor here. Coming to the end of round number two. That's it. Round two in the books. Choke, eminent air, Tiger Muay Thai in the blue. Jeremy, PSM fighter in the red. First fight of this mega card that we have in Baton. And did you notice there, right at the bell, Choke gave Jeremy a little fist bump, or he tried to anyway. Jeremy just walked away. Yeah. See, we thought Choke was going to wait it out, but I think what we just saw right there, he's now trying to get into Jeremy's head. Little oh, fist bump, almost like the fight's over. Let's see what Choke does in the next round. Is he going to come out as the explosive one? Well, round three, what I like to call the money round, this is it. This is where you got you got to pick up the pace at this point. Been a lot of dominance so far by the uh, foreign fighter, side fighter in his hometown. Has been waiting it out patiently. But as we know, Cobras can coil and wait, but when they strike, it is a deadly blow, sir. Teddy Moore alongside John Sampson again, bringing you the action. Thanks for joining us here at the replay. Big right hand. And then he wraps that leg around yep. to negate any movement there. That was. That was exactly a sign yeah. of experience, like we've been saying. Choke knows everything that's happening in the fight, and he knows how to respond. If he can go the distance, I think the advantage is going to switch to his side. It's 179 times Choke has entered these rings. He has seen it all. Now, the combination, is, though, sorry about that, John. The combination, yeah. though, from Jeremy has been really nice, really slick. He's throwing punches and bunches, and I like that. He's going down to the bread basket. He's going up top. With a lot of power behind it as well. We can see Jeremy's already starting to feel the strain on his muscles. Yeah. And uh, 
Choke is acting like, been there, done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool as a cucumber. Calm collected. Here we go, round number three. Again, classic Muay Thai rule, symphony of strikes, the art of eight limbs. Here we go, touch of the gloves, big left kick there by Choke. Oh, big Ooh. right hand. Got a lot of power, elbow inside, but elbow by Choke. Rip it to the body. Now we got a dog fight. This is what Jeremy wanted. Oh yeah. Let's see if Choke answers the question. He Let's took go. Choke a little bit by surprise with that first punch. The next time Choke was expecting it, let's see what happens. Choke so vicious with that left kick. Now we see a number of times Jeremy's been fainting with the left and then going with the right. Yeah. I think Choke is catching on. Yeah. He'll read that pretty soon. That right hand, they'll find that body. Wow, again. Elbow inside two, punishing blow. This guy is just so physically yeah. dominant. They had to give him an advantage size-wise because of the uh, experience-wise. Yeah. They had to make it an even match. That's why you're seeing the size-wise. 15 fights versus 176 by far. That's why. Here we go. Choke now, not working off the ropes. Dig to the body. Another head hit followed by an elbow. Again and again. Yep. Bullies him inside. Jeremy has not slowed down one bit yet. Not yet. The choke's hoping to wear him out. He's going to have to keep going. Slap knee from the outside. Big knee. I, I wonder, I honestly wonder if the referee is breaking it up again to make it even. Because if he allowed it to go clinch Muay Thai style, Jeremy might be a, a, a in deep water and not be able to swim. Great combination, big pop from the crowd. Choke himself now starting to show some signs of fatigue. He's been taking a lot of damage and I think that's what's been wearing on him for sure. Mouth open though for Jeremy. He is definitely tired, but he is ripping with ill intentions. A lot oh, yeah. of venom on those punches. He may be tired, but that is not slowing him down. Except when the referee comes to break him up, then pant a little bit before Whoa, you start fighting. 12 6 elbow missed by Choke. We're coming to the end of the round. You hear that drum? That beat, beat, beat. Fatigue on both fighters. Right hand always finding a home for Jeremy. Still right in Choke's face. There's that right I talked about. Choke, world famous left kick. Body rip. And the referee in there, I'm gonna say they're breaking it up early because of the uh, experience difference for sure. Wow, lackadaisical kick. Big yep. breath taken by Choke. He's taking a lot of damage in this fight. The monster prodding forward. Third round in the books. Oh, that was a three. I'm sorry, that was a three round fight. I apologize. That's a three round fight, not normal Muay Thai rules. Just got it in my ear from the technical team. I apologize for that. Three rounds in the book. Jeremy PSM fighter. Yep, Choke so Eminent Air. Thai Muay Tiger Muay Thai. So that's the fight right there. Considering it was only three rounds, there's nothing more to go. I'm going to say I feel, feel pretty comfortable in calling it for Jeremy right here. I mean, I don't think you're off by saying that at all, but how much do punches versus kicks? See what the judges see. Let's take a look. Certainly nobody got knocked out, so it's going to come down to points. That's right. But we're going to go to the big guy. Jeremy Mr. just landed so many yeah. jabs straight to the face. Yep. And that right that, hand, that straight right was murder. Yeah. Mr. Grant Anthony Waterman enters the ring, the legend, and here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, after three fantastic rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And your winner, from New Caledonia, Jeremy PSM Fighter! And there you have it, your winner on point, Jeremy PSM Fighter. It's not a surprise at all, that guy is a powerhouse. He is still undefeated. He was probably hoping for another knockout, didn't get that.